Okay, all of you, you can also sing. Although you are on mute, but you all can sing and just practice this. Okay, here it was by mistake given O and U, but we know that A, E, I, O, U are the long words and A, A, E, O are the short words. Okay, all of you give me words in the chat box with uh, sound A. A. Which all words will, will be there? It can be apple, yes. Cat, bat, anchor, ant. He will not be there. Aeroplane will not be there. Net will not be there. A range will not be there. See, I'm asking for a, apple, ant, arrow. Okay, can you give me words for E? The sound of letter E as short vowel sound. The short vowel sound for letter E is E. As an egg, bed, leg, not be, not are. Those were you using <clears throat> any other sound of letter E that is not the short vowel sound. 
we are talking about the short vowel sound of letter E, which is E. E it will not come. That's long E sound, not the short. Empty is okay. Empty is correct. Men, pen. Enough cannot be there. It should be only E. Eh. When you say egg, E. Eh. Jet, J, E. Eh. Jet. So you will teach the children j, et, jet. Okay, you can do arm blending j, et, energy, nest. Okay, can you give me with O? It should be a sound. A orange. On, pot, off. Owl will not come. Octopus, hot, rod, yes. Pot, pot, October, yes. Pot, dog, yes. Dot, yes. Yes. So, oh. Now, can you give me words with a uh sound? You giving a uh, short a uh sound. Umbrella. Up, bun. Bus, yes. Gun, okay. Ugly, yes. So the sounds are a e e o e a e e o e a e e o e a e e o e. Got it? And now we come to long vowel sounds. So a sound, letter a and letter i together makes a sound. Can you give me words? Not and tail pain. Yes, around will not come. Tail, tail pain. Yes, pain, tail, train, pain, gain, hail, nail, maid, gain, strail, train, gain. Okay, cane, not can. Okay, mail, strain, yes. How attention will come, no? Okay, long E sound. B, C, tree, fee, seed, keep. See, sleep. Okay. I sound. I. Tie. Yes. Die. Pie. Lie. My. Eyes. Yes. These are correct. Eyes as well because it's I. Eyes. I. Lie. Die. Rice. Yes. R. Eyes. Rice. Okay. Fries. Yes. Okay. Can you give me words with O sound? O A making O sound. O goat boat float toast yes. Soap toad. Okay, those and then we come to U sound. For U we have very a few words with U sound. Q yes. Few, not under. It's not you. It's a uh, under. Few. Okay. Okay. Now, all of you open your Jolly Phonics lesson app. See, it's blue and not blue. So, we cannot have the word blue because there UE is giving long oo sound. And not you. It's not blue, but it's blue. Okay? So, we cannot take that word. All of you, uh, open your Jolly Phonics lesson app. I hope you all have practiced 42 sounds. And you have gone through the app where you have clicked on all the words there. Hmm. Okay. So you have seven groups there group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven. You have to uh, start with the story or, or what all things are given there. You have to just scroll down and you have to explore the app completely for all the 42 sounds. Okay. Now, After that, what is given? You can see alternatives there, right? 
uh, Ashish is asking for what? Please send me stories. Okay, uh, I'll just share that link of stories in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So this is our Jolly Phonics app. Right? So here, uh, Archal, you have some doubt? Okay. Wait. Archal, you can unmute yourself. Yes. You can unmute yourself, Archal. Good evening, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, actually, uh, in the vowel sounds, uh, in the short vowels, we are doing a e a e e o a. So the ah. o sound. Ah. A, e o a. Okay. Ah. A, a a e o a. Yes. But ma'am, the o sound is uh, is like o. But when oh. we are doing the short and the long one, it's coming o and o. No, 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 no. Short is o octopus, long is o oak or oat. Okay. Little okay. o and long o are different. Mm -hmm. They are diagrams. Double o. We have double o there, not single o. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is little o and long o. Foot okay. and food. Okay. And and in the and in the A E I O U we have a uh, o. O. Sound. Oh yes. A, A, e, o, no, 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 no. Don't get confused. See, when you have the long vowel sounds, you have to speak the letter name. Letter name means letter A. So the sound is A. Letter A. E, the sound is E. e. I, O, I. U. So long e. vowels are the letter names. A, E, I, O, U. A, e. long are very easy to remember because they are the e. letter names. A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U are numbers that we use. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. And in the sound we have the O sound, not O. Sorry, ma'am. In the in the short vowels we have the the O the O sound is like O. O. On oh. orange octopus oh. of oh. ma'am, ma'am, uh, ma'am, can I ask like if you write the same sound in Hindi, it will be like with the like single uh, o or the just it chota ya bada o likhte hai to agar Hindi me convert karenge to usko bada o likha jayega ya chota o matlab single matra ya double matra Hindi se hum nahi kar sakte kyunki Hindi me hum o o kli karte wo to ho gaya long hai na hmm. lekin yes, au yes, ki matra ab au hai waha par Aus hmm. aurat, hmm. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Aur. Okay. orange. Now, Hindi, you can speak English. You can speak orange. You can speak orange. Yes. So, orange is hmm. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, oh. these, ha, so in all the sounds, you have these story, action, flashcards, song, everything. So, hmm. these are the 42 sounds okay these are the okay. four sounds yep okay thank you after that now you can see the alternatives now what are these alternatives these alternatives means that the same sound can come from different combinations like a sound which we have done can come from a y also and a dash e also okay the same <clears throat> U sound can come from U dash E also, E W also, and U E also. The same O sound can come from O dash E, O A, which we have already done, and O W. So today the, your task is to click on all the alternatives and read all the words. Like when you are clicking I dash E, read all the words with I dash E, and then IGH, so read all the words with IGH. Then you have IE, so these are the words with IE. Then when you go to the next alternative, so all sound can come from OR. All sound can come from 
A L. It can come from A W. And it can come from A U. So this way, what you have to do today, all of you have to click on all the alternatives and read all the words. Okay. So there are total 12 alternatives in this app. Okay. If someone doesn't have the app by any chance, then you can uh, open the uh, book which I have shared with you. Um, Word Bank. There you will have all of these words given. So it is only the words given. So you can open that uh, word bank and go for AI words, go for AY words, go for A-E words. You'll find it there. Okay. But I hope most of you should have, must be having this app. This is very useful. If you have a, a Android phone, then you should take this. So today what we are going to do is I'll be teaching some of the spelling rules. Definitely not all the spelling rules I'll be able, able to cover. Uh, anybody wants to ask something? Uh, yes, you can unmute yourself, Esmeralda. You're not audible. You're not audible. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have the app, right? The Jolly Phonics. You cannot see because there's too much light in my house, okay? So what happened is I was trying the AI now as you were taking us through the alternative. Okay. I pressed like on OR and then it gives, you know, uh, all are, content. Yeah, yeah. There are few errors in this app. The sound is not there. Am I not audible? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, see. You can see. Mom, you can. Ah, there, are, see. there are some errors in the app where you will not oh, hear um, the audio. I can't hear you. Am I audible? Am I? Okay, uh, I don't know why uh, she's not able to hear. Okay, we can discuss it later. Okay. Okay, any other doubt? Yes, anyone has any other doubt? Anybody wants to ask something? You can, uh, I think Gansham sir was about to ask something. Where is he? Uh, Gansham sir? Were you asking something? You can mute yourself, unmute yourself. Yeah, okay. I have a Jolly app. Okay, right? yes. But uh, once, uh, after one liter, once uh, $12.99, $13. Yes, because it is not Android. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone is asking in the chat that should we teach songs to children? See, when you are having little children, like three and a half and four years, then you should teach the songs. You should do because you have to teach only one sound in a day. So you have 40 minutes. What you are going to do, you will tell the story, do the action rhyme. All the eight steps must be followed. Okay, we have done that. We have to start with story, then do the action, then flashcard, then formation, then blending, then sounding, dictation, jolly song. Everything has to be taken for a three and a half year old child or a, a four year old child who is in LKG. Okay. 
but if you are having children above like senior kids then you can simply teach them the sounds and actions actions help a lot okay and then when you have even you know, senior children like uh, grade 2 3 4 like right now we are taking we have taken a school where we are going to teach them phonics but children are facing problem in reading and they are grade 3 4 5 children so for them it is not uh, worth uh, spending time in teaching songs and actions we are only teaching the sounds we are just checking that which student doesn't know which sound and we are focusing on that and the students they are just learning the new sounds uh, like for example they get confused with o u a i mostly vowels confuse okay consonants never confuse it is only the vowels which confuse the combinations ai what it will be so we are teaching we are working on the vowel sounds we are working on the vowel diagrams okay so there you don't have to teach uh, stories and actions but there you can directly teach the sound and check the sound knowledge awareness and then you can uh, help the child read shub shub shubda you want to ask something you can unmute yourself Yes, Esther, you can send me resources. Shubda, please unmute yourself. Shubda, unmute yourself. Yes. Is it okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, where kids, uh, parents or families don't speak in English, how do we go about then? See, phonics is going to help them in reading. Okay. okay, this is going to help them in reading a book uh, or uh, wherever they, there are words in English. So phonics okay. is not a language development program. Mm -hmm. so we cannot say that children will start speaking English. But mm -hmm. yes, definitely, if I'm able to read something in a language, for example, mm -hmm. if I'm learning any language and I'm mm -hmm. able to read, then only I will be able to speak. Okay. So the purpose here is first to take the child to the reading level. Once he starts reading, he reads more. The more time you spend with no, uh, any subject. It's not that if parents are uh, speaking or not. The child has to or anyone has to spend more and more time with the language by reading, speaking, listening, writing. Okay, all these skills are required. So mm -hmm. we, we cannot commit a parent that after learning phonics, he'll be speaking in English. He'll be mm -hmm. reading. And then more he reads, more he will be familiar with the language and he'll be comfortable speaking that language. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just had a doubt whether uh, the child will understand or not. No? Understanding Whatever. is a different thing. For an example, huh. if I'm able to read uh, French, doesn't mm. necessarily mean that I will be able to understand also. Yeah, okay. that is the thing. <laughs> yes. So understanding needs comprehension skills. So that we have to develop for that reason why reading is so important at an early age. But to learn it, it will learn it later. But if he doesn't have to learn it in the initial years, he doesn't have to learn it. He doesn't have to learn it. language development. At least when the child will read, the cat is on the mat, then you can explain that they see the cat is on the mat. But if he's not able to read the cat is on the mat, how will you understand the cat is on the mat? So, first we make them read and then we make them understand what is written. And then they, uh, they uh, develop the comprehension skills. So, that's why there is a lot of need of decodable readers. In India, we don't have decodable readers. We have to take it from other countries. So, like UK books are there, UK Jolly Learning, then Fitzroy books are there. Where decodable in India, nobody is making decodable books. And they are very, very important. See, if the child is not knowing the sounds of uh, um, uh, like AI, th then he is not able to read. But at least if he knows 26 sounds, there should be some book which he can read so that he starts learning how to comprehend so uh, decodable readers are there in Jolly Phonics where if you have learned six sounds, okay, so with six sounds, there are storybooks. With 12 sounds, there are storybooks. With 18 sounds, there are storybooks. So six, six sounds, children starts learning and he is, so what is happening? Not just he's reading, but because he's reading storybook and he's trying to understand you're explaining. So his comprehension skills are developed. So now you can expect the child that he will speak also. Yeah. So definitely there will be an improvement in the child in speaking also if along with sounds you are also doing the decodable readers. Then only. Got it? 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Any other doubt, anyone? Mm -hmm. Nisha, you want to ask something? Okay. Unmute yourself. Yes, I would like to know what will be the course duration. See, if, I, if, I, if I tease the student, what will the course duration of uh, completing the whole syllabus of Jolly Phonics? See, that I wanted to discuss at the end of the course so that first you learn the course and then we will discuss that what portion should be taught at what age. Right now, you have not learned the entire course. So, I cannot tell you that this portion, this portion, this portion. So, let us first... So, you will be giving course. the syllabus also when we start teaching. So, you will be providing us with the syllabus also. How much you teach in a particular day? Yes, it is already there in the Jolly Phonics app. You can see 42 sounds are there, then 12 alternatives are there and 72 tricky words are there. This is your complete Jolly Phonics level 1, 2 and 3. Now we have to divide this. So let us first learn alternatives. Let us first do the tricky words and then I will tell you that how you will divide this entire course. The entire course is on Jolly Phonics app. It is 42 sounds, which are given in seven groups. It is 12 alternatives, which are given in two groups. There are 72 tricky words, which are given in six groups. So this is level one, two, and three. How you have to divide, we will be doing it. Once we learn the complete, we have only finished 42 sounds. Alternatives are remaining, tricky words are remaining. So once we finish that, then I'll tell that how you can divide it. Okay. Any doubt, anyone? Okay, uh, you can unmute Esmeralda. I hope now you are. Uh, yeah, able. I think. Am I audible now? You are yeah. audible. I just, yes, I just have uh, uh, one question uh, for the Jolly Phonics uh, app, what we have downloaded. Okay, as someone earlier mentioned that we need to pay a certain amount to take the entire application. Uh, now I am based in UAE. Is that so? Uh, I too, having uh, the Android phone, I'm not getting the free app. Okay, it is taking me somewhere when I say per, go to your previous purchase, it's taking me to some Jolly Classroom. Is that a pay? No, Jolly Classroom is not the app. Jolly Classroom, yeah. is different. that is quite, uh, I think, expensive. Something different, right? Yes, it's different. Hmm. So Jolly how how do I go about it if it is on Android? And because I'm in UAE, it's asking me to pay the amount in dollars. How do I go about it? You will have Should to pay and then you, yes. You then will take it, it Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Okay, done. But it is worth. You can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to know if... Yes. Uh, a Jolly so... Classroom is different. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a software. That's a software where you will have the access to the entire lesson plans and all. But that huh. would be very expensive. Oh, huh, okay. Because I was in the that is mostly taken app. up by schools who have many branches. So they take up it and then they can uh, use that uh, software for all of their schools or all these schools they have the chains and in all the classrooms they can use. Yeah, okay. No, because uh, through the Jolly Phonics, I entered that uh, Jolly classroom. That's why I wanted to check before I could log into that. Uh, do not take that. That is very, huh. very expensive. Yes. Okay. Okay. So today uh, we don't have enough time for starting with the spelling rules. So what we'll, I'll do is I'll share a recording. You all can see that if you want. Otherwise, I will take up spelling rules in the next class for sure. And today's task is you have to explore all the alternatives given. Okay. And uh, you can, if you get time, you can just go through those spelling rules if you want. So that when I teach, that would be a revision for you. Okay. Any other doubt? So LKG children, age four, will be taught 42 sounds and first group of tricky words. That is your level one of Jolly Phonics. Okay. So level one, you can note it down. Level one has 42 sounds plus group one tricky words. And in group one, there are 12 tricky words. This is your level one. So we have done Jolly Phonics level one. Okay. So... Now we have four sessions left. So in four sessions, we'll be covering spelling rules and the alternatives. Okay. So Jolly Phonics level one is 42 sounds plus first group of tricky words. You all can see in your app. Okay. There are 12 words. So tomorrow morning, I'll be sharing the video of today's session also and spelling rules video also. Okay tomorrow.
morning. Okay. Any other doubt anyone has? Yes. Esmeralda, you want to ask something? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to check with you. Uh, it was mentioned earlier by Dhaval, sir, that every Sunday you are on the Zoom live. Yes, Sunday something. you can come at 10 a.m. with the same link. Okay, just message um, me and okay. I'll start the meeting and we can discuss your queries. Okay, because, uh, you know, till uh, Friday, I am uh, like being in UAE, I reach home only by, you know, nine o'clock. And that also, I don't get the entire thing. So I have to come home and then go through the recordings and then, you know, catch up with it. So I said Sunday is the only day when I can interact. So yes. what is the timing? That would be India time, 10 o'clock? Yes. India time, 10 a.m. Yes. Okay, done. Yeah. So all of you just uh, scroll uh, scroll down the app and just uh, go through the uh, alternatives. And if you have any doubt, you can ask. Okay. So you can come for the free webinar on Sunday at 10 a.m. If you have any more queries. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, the next class will be on Tuesday, same time, 6.15 p.m.